morning trailblazers. Today is Friday, but we have a special tech tip because we are getting close to the FCAT coming up. And so we have a special tech tip today that relates to the FCAT. So if you are in third, fourth, or fifth grade, I need you to pay special attention to this tech tip today. I took the FCAT when I was in school in fourth grade all the way up through 10th grade. I took the FCAT myself seven times. Uh, and so I always get really excited at FCAT time because it is a great opportunity for you to show what you have been learning all year. Sometimes we get a little nervous about FCAT, but you have been being prepared all year by your teachers and you've been working hard and it's a great opportunity to show what you know. And today's tech tip, I want to show you a little bit about how the FCAT is scored by a computer so that you'll know how to mark your answers on your answer sheets. So what I have for you today to look at is the answer sheet on the FCAT, okay? And this sheet right here is the sheet that you'll get that has your name on it and your school's name and your district's name. And let's fix the uh, tech tip overlay there. There we go your name and your school's name and the district's name and you won't have to fill out a lot of this information okay it's going to be filled out for you just like a lot of mine has already been filled out okay but um, you will have to put in your name okay you'll have to write your name in but you won't have to bubble your name you won't have to bubble your school but I want to show you two things on this bubble sheet so that you will know how to fill out your FCAT correctly okay so over here Let's just zoom in on the birthday section on this sheet. And let me undo that that I just did so that I can show you some things about how to bubble. Okay, and you've probably heard this before, but I just want to go over it one more time with FCAT coming up next week. When you are bubbling, it's very important that you fill the bubble completely and you fill it as dark as you can without going outside of the bubble. So let me show you if I were filling out this bubble right here. What I like to do is trace the edges first and then fill in the inside, okay? And then up here, we will write the, um, let's see, my birthday right there. And oh, I might wanna erase that because I got outside of the box, but the most important thing is your bubbles, okay? So boxes are not as important as the bubbles, but you do want to be in the boxes and in the bubbles, okay? And that is how I'm going to write up there. And then we're going to make my pen a little thicker here. We're going to trace the outside of the bubble, and then I'm going to fill in in the middle. So that's my little technique there for making sure I fill that bubble all the way. Okay, now you guys probably already know all about bubbling because you had practice with that, okay? But there's one other thing that I want to show you about these scan sheets after I finish filling in my birthday, okay? So let's zoom out and look at how nice and clean my sheet is right here, and every bubble is filled solid and dark, okay? And you might look at your bubble sheet and see that you've got that, and you might be so good at your bubble sheet and writing your name on your answer sheet that while your teacher's giving directions, Okay, you might think, well, what else can I draw on because I already finished bubbling? And that is not what we want to think about because this is what we have to be really careful of. The computer grades your FCAT, scores your FCAT by looking at where the different bubbles are on the page and which bubbles you have filled in nice and darkly. And to tell how to line up those bubbles, it has all these markings on the edge of the paper. Okay, you may have taken the FCAT before and thought to yourself, why does it have these strange markings on the paper? But all of these markings are how the computer lines up your answer sheet. So here's what happens sometimes with students. You might get a little bit antsy taking the FCAT, and you might want to doodle on something. And if you were to start doodling over here in the margin, okay, or doodling up here where there's a little rectangle, maybe you want to um, draw something on top of that rectangle, make a new shape out of it that would mess up the computer when it tries to score your test, okay? Same with the ones down here, okay? The computer is looking for these little rectangles to line up your answer sheets. 
And if you have doodled in those sections, they are not going to be able to line up your test and find your answers, okay? So we don't want that. We want to, <clears throat> let me turn that off. We want our answer sheet to look just like this where there's no stray markings at all. And so the way that I would recommend that you do that is when your teacher tells you to pick up your pencil and write your name on the answer sheet, pick up your pencil. But as soon as you're done writing your name, put your pencil back down and just listen to the directions because we do not need to be holding our print pencil and be tempted to mark on our answer sheet in a place that we're not supposed to, okay? So I know all of you are doing, going to do a great job on the FCAT. That is all that I have for the tech tip this morning. Let's take it to our news crew. Good morning, Trailblazers. Welcome to the April 12th edition of WDTS. I'm Joseph. And I'm Andrew. And we are news anchors from Miss Noel's fifth grade class. Please stand for the pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Today's choices for lunch are cheese ravioli with breadsticks, breadstick or cheese pizza or chef, chef salad. Side items are steamed broccoli, tossed side salad, assorted fruit cup, and fresh fruit. Miss Kelly reports that first and second graders have read 5,031 AR books so far this year. Thanks to our third through fifth grade teachers who ensured that their students took their last SRI before today's deadline. Thanks to Miss Dillon's class for providing us with interesting facts about Louis Armstrong this week. Here are a few questions. Blank was called the world's greatest jazz cornet and trumpet player in the in the 1920s. Neil Armstrong, Duke Ellington, Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong. As a child in New Orleans, Louis heard musicians play on the sidewalks in brass bands. Blank. Play in parades, perform in nightclubs, perform on TV. Play in parades. Woo! <laughs> At age 12, Louis got into trouble. He was sent to blank. Jail, a boy's home, Disney World. A boy's home. home. At age 12, Louis learned to play the blank, and he went on to become a famous musician. Musician, Trombone, trumpet, cornet. Cornet. Ms. Bono is here with a booster thaw and presentation. Good morning. Good morning, Trailblazers. I am here to present Mrs. Keltner with a real. <laughs> We're here. Can you see us now? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Good morning, Trailblazers. I am here to present Mrs. Keltner with a really, really big, big check from Boosterthon. So I would like a really, 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 really loud drum roll, please. We would like to tell you that our Trailblazers raised $22,279.44. So there is a check. We have money flying. Woo! Great job, Trailblazers. Want to say thank you on behalf of all of DeSoto Trail. This money is coming right back to you here at DeSoto Trail. It's going to go into your classrooms for technology and training for your teachers so that they can help you be the best trailblazer possible and get you ready for middle, middle school. So $22,279.44. We love that 44 cents. Congratulations, Trailblazers. I know you guys were out there in the fun run and it wasn't, you know, outside like it usually is, but we'll do better even next year. But uh, wow, fabulous. Miss Poole. Hats off, right? Yeah. Way to go, Trailblazers. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Bono. Thank you. Here are Miss Keltner and Dr. Poole. We're back. <laughs> 
Again, good morning, Trailblazers. Happy Friday. Friday. Yeah, yeah. yes, 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 yes. It's been yes, a crazy yes. morning so far. It has been. But you know what? The, the thing that I can say that I really like is that we're Trailblazers whether we're in the inside or the outside. Yeah, so it didn't true. matter whether or not they were outside doing that fun run. Yeah, I know. They knew what the, the whole purpose was right. for. Now, I got some good news for you. All right. Today, we have one birthday and that's elijah stewart on saturday we have henry day and we have katherine trescott and then on sunday we have kennedy brown and Kristen iskander happy birthday and come on down to the front office we have something special for you very good all right well you know that flying chimpanzees and tigers test is coming in the next couple of weeks but you know what, Trailblazers? We're ready to do what, Joseph? Do we know, Sam? Ready to sh Andrew. show what show you know. know. Andrew, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you Sam. I'm sorry. Andrew, we are just going to show what we know. You've been working hard. Your teachers have been preparing you. You know now how to bubble in those sheets. Fifth graders, when you get on that computer to take your FCAT math test, you're going to know what to do on that. There's no point in being nervous. Just show what you know. I have all the confidence in you that you're going to do the best you can, and we're still going to be one of the top-rated elementary schools here in Leon County. So not nervous, just ready for you to shine on that test. All right, I do have a guest speaker today, and I'd like her to come over here. We're moving spots. Come on up, Miss Tom. Yes, you have to get on TV. It's live TV, live in the morning. Some of you may know Miss Thomas already, but if you don't, this is our new health aide in our clinic, Miss Thomas. Miss Gomer moved up to Childs High School, so when you get a little older, you'll get to see her there. But Miss Thomas, welcome to DeSoto Trail. Would you like to tell us, please, a little bit about yourself? Thank you. Good morning, Trailblazers. Um, my name is Margaret Thomas, and um, I have been an MA for a couple of years now. I also worked at a children's clinic, and I also worked at a women's clinic, so I have a lot of knowledge of children, and I have my own. <laughs> How old are your children? 27, mm -hmm. 24, and 18. Oh. Very, you look fabulous, girl. I want to look like you when I grow up. Well, yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, I love all the way. All right. Well, welcome to Soda Trail. We're so glad you're here. Thank you for coming on WDTS this morning. Thank you. You guys have a wonderful day. All right. And to finish our week about animals and poetry month, I, I did change them up, Miss Kelly. I found some. If you'd like to check out this book, it's called Never Take a Pig to Lunch. And inside, I'm going to read two because they're pretty short, okay? Said a long crocodile. Said a very long crocodile. My length is a terrible trial. I know I should die it, but each time I try it, I'm hungry for more than a mile. That's by Lillian Moore. And then this one's called The Vulture. The vulture eats between his meals, and that's the reason why he very, very rarely feels as well as you and I. His eye is dull, his head is bald, his neck is growing thinner. Oh, what a lesson for all of us to only eat at dinner. And this one's by Hilary Bellick. Now, I have to say with our wellness plan, you shouldn't be eating just dinner. So I just want to give that little tidbit. You should be eating a good breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, right. Speaking of good breakfast, one more tidbit for Monday. Yes, yes. Third, fourth, and fifth graders get a good breakfast on. I think, we, are we going to have some snacks for them yeah, during testing? But get a good night's sleep on Sunday. As far as I know, there's no great sports on TV, nothing really going on. So you should get to bed on time Sunday night, come in bright and early with a good breakfast in your belly, and get ready to show what you know And that flying tigers and flying cheetahs and tigers test. We just keep changing the name around here because we don't really give that much. All right, uh, I'm sending it on back to the news team. Thank you. Miss Kelly would like to share some RC information with third and fifth graders. Good morning, Trailblazers. I want to mention a few things. I know we're running over today. Uh, we had some because of our, our tech tip in the morning, but I have some important things that I need to share with you. Um, yesterday, I was not here. I had an appointment in the morning, and the, the sub who was behind the desk said, you know, it was like a gambling casino in here yesterday, six deep of kids um, 
playing, you know, playing games on Brain Pop. Now, Brain Pop is a great um, website. You know, it has wonderful educational things. For some reason, they've decided to add a lot of a gaming component. And it's great for critical thinking, but this is really something that you need to do at home. You can access it at home. So in the morning, I'm going to say to you that there is no more gaming in the media center. It needs to be very quiet in the media center because there are kids sitting right next to you at a computer who are trying to concentrate on a reading counts quiz. They want to get their last percentage points in, and they can't do it when six kids are gathered around rooting for someone to, um, you know, win a game. So that's not really what the media center time in the morning is for. So no gaming in the media center. You're welcome to come in to read, to take those quizzes. It should be a very quiet place. Thank you. Now, I do want to mention that we've got our, our, Friday, our special Fridays here. Um, everyone took their SRIs. You did a great job. Wonderful. Uh, next week is the 19th. Uh, reading counts goes away. That's it. So you have one week to um, continue to take those quizzes. But I do want to mention to you that if you ch check out a book today, it's not due until the 26th. And if it's a rather large novel, um, your that book really should be going toward your new AR testing. So we're in this funny kind of you know, twilight zone here between AR and reading count. So, you know, just be uh, just be mindful of that. You know, it's not a big deal, but um, just kind of keep that in mind. So um, our last score, our last day for uh, quizzes is the 19th. Yesterday, I had to go to uh, awards for you to get more um, trophies and medals. Y'all are just going, just doing so well. I'm just astounded. But there are, like in fifth grade, there are six students now who have 84 percent four who have in fourth grade nine of you in third grade four of you and many of you have um you know, 83%, 82%, you can fix that in a week. But I do want to mention to you, last week I showed you just a small column of numbers and how one quiz could make a difference. Well, when you um, have taken lots and lots of quizzes, like many of you have, one 100 is not going to change it that much. So if you look at this column here, this is 14 quizzes. There were some zeros in here, so it gave um, a 77 percent. But uh, if the student had caught that, and then the next week, you know, really worked hard, even if there were some 80s in there, if there are no zeros, they've gotten right up to that 84 percent level. So one quiz, uh, one zero in here would keep that from happening. So you just have to be mindful, just be watching, um, because many of you are very, very close. And we'd love to see you get that trophy if you have that high Lexile, which so many of you do. So um, please continue, you know, just, just working on your reading counts quizzes. If you already have that 84 percent or higher and you have um, um, a high lexile um, just take it easy this this next week you know still read keep your brain oiled but you don't have to take a quiz on that book you know hold steady as we only have this week thank you very much Here are Ms. Keltner and Dr. Poole. We have just a couple of quick announcements. I know this is an extended version of WDTS this morning. You might be wondering why I have a crazy hat on. Well, for me, it's crazy. It's a cowgirl <laughs> hat, and I wouldn't consider myself a country girl, but I do like the hat, and I do like some country music. And then Ms. Poole's shirt, trail I'm putting the microphone over there. I don't know why. Trailblazing for a cure. So we complement each other. Yes. We've got our trailblazing for a cure and it's crazy hat day so if you haven't given your donation go ahead and give that up to the guidance office now because you have to have the sticker to wear the hat okay right. to make sure you support our team also miss Poole had a couple more quick announcements about that crazy test we're taking on Monday. oh yes teachers third fourth and fifth grade teachers first please please make sure that your room is test ready by Sunday I will not have time on Monday morning like I do sometimes to walk around we will have a district person on campus coming in specifically to check your rooms so please make sure that's ready a little note to the primary areas the labs will be closed to you during testing time the labs will be closed and any they will open up in the afternoon as soon as um, the, you, they're finished with testing in here. And just a little tidbit, just watch for your emails because as things change, I try to send out the information to you via email. Thank you. I think that's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. WDTS Day. All right, but good information. Ready, kiddos? Mm -hmm. Have, Have a great, great day and go, go for the gold. gold. Bye. Bye.